Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amartya Rupani and in today's video, I am going to talk about one of the new programs that has recently been introduced this year and it is called Yukon Community Pilot Program and it works under one of its streams, its nomination streams and guys, in this video, I am going to walk you through its step-by-step -step application process, requirements, fees and processing time. So without wasting any time, let's just start. Okay, let's first understand what this program is about. This program was launched in January 2020 and it is a three-year pilot program. And the purpose of this program is to attract and keep immigrants in Yukon communities and to meet Yukon's economic development and labor market needs. So this is the list of all those communities that are participating in this program. Now let me just walk you through the requirements for this program. The first and most important requirement for this program is to have two to three job offers with up to three employers within the same community. Okay, now finding a job from outside of Canada is the most trickiest part. However, if you're within Canada looking for a job, then guys, I've already made a video on it and the link is given in the description box below and I'm pretty much sure that video will definitely help you to find a job in Yukon. Also, on their official website, you can find three uh, job search websites where you can look for jobs in Yukon communities and uh, the link of all these websites are also given in the description box below. You can check them out. Let's say the first website is UVIN. All you have to do is just write the title of your job that you're looking for and area and you will get the complete list of those jobs in that particular region. And the purpose of having two to three job offers is to accumulate 1560 hours in a single year, which is equal to minimum 30 hours per week. Another requirement for this program is you must have a copy of the nomination letter from the government of Yukon confirming that you have been nominated for permanent residence. And in order to get nomination letter, you need to apply uh, to one of those four nomination streams as shown on this website and guys uh, the link of this website is given in the description box below i'm not going to cover the application process for these streams in this video because i wanted to keep this video short however if you want me to make videos on these streams let me know in the comment box i will definitely make separate videos on these nomination streams the last requirement for this program is to have a signed letter of support from the government of yukon that should state that the employers who are offering you the jobs need you to work in the community as soon as possible and other job details such as uh, name of the employers, occupation, number of hours and job locations. And once you meet all the requirements, all you have to do is just fill out online application for the work permit and for that you need to go to their official website which is cic.gc.ca and type Yukon Community Pilot and click this first link and it will bring you at this page where you scroll it all the way down and it says how to apply for the work permit so the first question is where you are applying from let's say if you are applying from outside of Canada then select that option and the next step is to create your online account and guys it is pretty much straightforward to create your account I already have one so I'm going to sign into my account And once you create and log into your account, this is where you can start your work permit application, which is pretty much straightforward. All you have to do is just uh, answer that simple questionnaire. Let's say the first question is, what would you like to do in Canada? Then of course you're applying for work permit, so you will write work. And it says, how long are you planning to work in Canada? Then it is going to be uh, temporarily more than six months and you need to enter your country of residence where you are applying from let's say if you're applying from india then enter uh, india and here comes your date of birth and guys all these steps are already mentioned on the main page and the link of that page is given in the description box below you can refer those steps in order to fill out this application and these are super straightforward questionnaire that you need to answer and i'm not gonna go into detail you can do it by yourself as i said it is super easy to do it and once you finish it just review your answers and if you have answered something wrong then you can always edit it and then press continue and then it will bring you at this page where you um, see the number of steps that you need to follow in order to submit your application and this is your document checklist that you need to upload and all of those documents need to be uh, scanned 
So there are some application forms and some supporting documents such as passport, your job offer letter and stuff like this. And the fees you need to pay for work permit is 155 and for biometrics it is 85. So all together you need to pay $240. Once you pay your fees and upload your scanned copies of uh, your documents, you can submit your application. And the work permit you will be getting is valid for two years and it does not need labor market impact assessment, which is great news. And guys, it lets you work maximum for three uh, different employers in the same community. And these are the people who cannot apply to this program however you can always contact to IRCC to know the requirements for you and you can check the processing time on this link and all you have to do is just uh, select the application type so in this case it will be temporary residence that is work permit and um, enter your country of residence let's say India then the processing time for India it is 21 weeks Okay, so that was pretty much it for today and if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment box. I will try my best to answer them as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there is a lot more coming up for you guys till then. You take care and I'll see you again. Bye.